from the riflemen, just the bars alone are providing enough suppression to take out, take down these guys. Throwing on some stickies to try and take out this half track. A lot of action going on right now. We have a Cromo on the field. Antitag quickly throwing itself around, trying to respond. We have a over <laughs> overdrive engine on this Cromo, just so it can move very fast. It's very good um, micro going on. Very good battling. Unfortunately, this. Um, Attack isn't going on any bit better. The riflemen actually being taken out by these uh, by, by these flamethrower guys. Unfortunately, they couldn't take out the half track. Half track on a slither of hell. This this bunker was turned into medic bunker in the center, and I'm going to actually say good job. That is a very good choice. I like that because all these infantry, as you can see in the center, those medics are going to be busy, busy, busy picking up all those guys, turning them into free grenadier squads. I like that. And unfortunately, the Cromo getting blocked by this Ostwin, taking backfire from the anti tank. Out of the range of the anti tank, however. And as you can see, Ostwin taking some fire. This is looking very bad. I'm guessing these Volksgrenadiers are trying to close in. Possibly get off Panzerfaust. There we go, they're trying to get it off. Unfortunately, they're at maximum range, so they're having a hard time even doing this. They need to get closer if they're going to get that Panzerfaust out. I believe only one Panzerfrost would be able to take that out. <laughs> Watch out, little pa pioneer. <laughs> Gotta get out of there. Get out of the range. And there we go. A little Panzer Shrek and Panzerfrost, should I say. Wow. Funnily enough, one Panzer Shrek was not enough. Um, probably because Cromwell is a bit heavier armor. Um, one more Panzer Shrek should do the job. Just want to see this thing blow up in glorious fireworks. And here we go, another one. Now you gotta ask yourself, was 70 ammunition to take out a little slither of health from Cromwell worth it? Uh, well, it's up to you, but I think he could have easily maybe gotten a Grandier squad down there with Panzer Shreks and, you know, just blast it away. Yeah, Save that ammunition for another day. Um, let's see if there's uh, any more abilities for um, the Axes going on. So right now we see Terror Doctrine by uh, Siastek. Pretty cool, so I, I, I'm guessing he's gonna be going straight for a Tiger, a King Tiger, should I say? King Tiger will be providing a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, it's like a fortress, basically, so, <laughs> providing a lot of damage on the battlefield, providing a very pushing force. And as you can see, more skirmishes going on. We've got a wee mine set up here by the Axis. Just in case anything wants to retreat or come up this path, they're going to be destroyed or damaged. So Austin is providing a lot of hassle. I mean, these British um, infantry squads cost a lot to replenish, um, to reinforce. So each man they lose there is a huge loss on their part. Um, so Brits, be aware of your Austwins. The Austwins are murder, murder for all men. And I think that's a general rule for any infantry. Beware of the Austwin. And let's just go see what Deadbolt's doing as well. And funnily enough, he is going for terror as well. So, pretty cool. We've got both uh, factions going for terror. I believe they've gone down different roads. Yes, they have. They've gone different roads of the terror tree. Um, just so that you have a mixture of ability. And this is what I absolutely love. Mix up what you're going to be doing. Make sure you know what you're doing. And so, right now, just we have um, Siastic trying to take out the, the harassing power of, of fashion police. Just trying to take out his mortar. And right now we have a few tanks on the field. Austin luckily got away from that. And there we go. Little pack taking some damage on the Cromo. Austin was taken out. Commando squad taken out. A lot of damage and uh, deaths uh, being inflicted right now. Let's see what's quickly happening over here. Brit's base absolutely getting destroyed. This is very unfortunate. But we have heavy losses for the Axes as well. Axes losing a lot. Brits losing a lot, so it's quite evenly um, stretched out right now. We are losing ground. <laughs> These uh, this infantry section is in a lot of trouble right now. As we can see, back up here in the center, huge losses again. The half track taken out. We have an artillery strike coming down. Oh, what could this mean? And boom, boom! Look at these big dust plumes. Oh, the beauty. Unfortunately, it didn't really kill anything. 
I believe uh, a single pioneer was killed there. Um, but yeah, the bunker can easily be repaired, or not, not if it gets destroyed like that. And so Snoop really having to retreat is Sherman right now. And what is that? Is that is that? Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually artillery. Let me um, switch on over to Fashion Police. Fashion Police has decor artillery barrage. So I'm always a bit reluctant whenever I'm playing against the Brits if they're going to be throwing down a real artillery barrage or not. Sometimes you can actually tell if they're going to be throwing down a real or fake artillery barrage. Um, how do I know this? I know this because of how desperate they seem to be. If, for example, you're pushing very deeply on them and you know they don't have much artillery, losing a second, then you know that they're desperate and they're going to try to uh, make you retreat or maybe you try to go some different way. So, yeah, if they throw down like a little red smoke, I try to try to go about through it. But, you know, I'm not too worried. And we have a forced retreat going on right there probably doing that because he just didn't have uh, the axe just didn't have the fighting capability there to push back um, all those uh, American squads so just push him back forcefully a bit of ammunition push him back away and now it is a battle of the victory points I believe that was number decor artillery barrage going down it's a very useful ability sometimes if you don't know what's uh, real or not it could be good for uh, pushing people back and here again, little fine detail, so pioneers taking ammunition from destroyed wrecks. Always try to do that when you can. As you can see, you can even take it from your enemy's wrecks. Just all the ammunition you can get, why not? You may as well if you're going to be getting um, all these abilities and such. And so we're, right now we have one base by the Brits and two base. So the armor command, and we have a wee glider as well, so that can, glider can provide more commandos. And we have these sappers on the field, repairing the Cromwell. And I also like this use of uh, HQs here, so they're separated, one in different sectors, so that the observation posts can uh, can uh, get resources um, in other places. And ouch, lose the MG too early. Wow, two Panzer Shrek a rockets actually killing two commandos. That's quite lucky. Pretty cool that they um, were that lucky to kill uh, a few. Commandos. Commandos really need to get out of there right now. Seems like the Brits have been losing a bit too many commandos. And ouch! <laughs> That's the second time that this has happened to a commando squad falling on a mine <laughs> on their, their uh, home or their retreat home. So, as you guys can see, this is what they mean by putting mines on retreat paths. Put them um, where you think the enemy will be treating. Because when they're retreating, they have the potential of losing squads, as you can see, two commandos. So right now, a lot of damage in craters and um, fighting going on in the field. Seems quite a stalemate, but if you guys look on the map right now, I'm going to quickly switch over to tactical map. I know you guys want to see the action, but switch quickly to the tactical map. Look at this. The Axis team almost pushed in on center and all the way around them, surrounding them, encompassing them, are just allied territory. So quite an encompassing uh, way of the uh, how the game looks right now. And so right now the Cromo command tank needing to get out of there. Panzer just chasing it away, but not being too overextending. There might be something that's going to be backing up this uh, command tank. But fair enough, it's going to chase it anyway. So right now we have. This is looking quite frightening. There's quite a buildup of guys here. Taking a little bit of hot shots from an uh, anti-tank gun. They say, okay, there's one anti-tank gun, let's just move in on it. But taking a lot of damage, they didn't probably weren't expecting this um, <laughs> grenadier squad to be backing up the uh, anti-tank gun. Taking one casualty on that Sherman. But, ouch, absolutely being crushed between the buildings. Poor little German guys, no. <laughs> Oh, I suppose they suicided for the fatherland, right? So big losses here right now for the Axes. But I'm a bit surprised they didn't try to take out that uh, medic bunker. So right now we have very, uh, very um, bad-looking uh, 
uh, position for the axes right now. I mean, if you look at what's happening on the map, their sectors are being absolutely taken away. Uh, they've only got one tank. There are so many um, Brits and British and American tanks on the field right now. It's looking very, very bleak for the axes. How could they turn this around? First off, if I was in the Axis position, I would say, what uh, do I need to spawn to um, right now? Obviously, the biggest factor that you're fighting against are these tanks. So what you need is more anti-tank. Of course, you're going to need a bit of anti-infantry to take on flamethrowers and riflemen. Anti-tank will be your main priority. Hopefully, some artillery as well can help. And let's just switch on over to uh, some of the axes. Uh, I'm just going to quickly mention, yeah, Snooperborn going fully airborne. And I hear a V1 going off. So who is this from? Siastek. Where could it be? I'm guessing it might be coming down around here. Oh! <laughs> wow! We actually had uh, one loss of a tank <laughs> far away. Uh, big loss. Two tanks taken out by that V1. I like how uh, Bastion was trying to get out of there, but unfortunately just not quick enough. Now the th thing that's, uh, I suppose you could say sort of annoying about the V1 is that you don't know where it's going to land. Um, but you can have a very good prediction. If you have a blob of tanks or a blob of infantry, there's a very highly likely chance that the V1 was yeah, aimed right on points. top of them. So just try to move your guys, keep your guys separated, always moving about, especially when you hear the V1 coming. Ouch! Panzer being absolutely cornered. Two Shermans coming around the side. We have Sappers and we have a Grumble tank. Boom goes the Panzer. Bye bye goes Hans. And here we go, we got a King Tiger on the field. So as you guys can see, um, the two Axis players have went different ways on the edge on, the, on their commander tree. One went for V1 and then both went for King Tiger straight away so now we have this big fortress now King Tigers aren't unstoppable they are destructible especially when you throw um, sticky bombs and use other anti-tank to take them out um, but they are just big mobile fortresses so be wary of them King Tigers can be definitely um, game changers as been proved in many uh, previous games <laughs> I do love this King Tiger needs to retreat uh, backwards out of this. So what he does is just backwards right through the hedges because he's got heavy crush. Why not? As long as he's out of there. Now these tanks really need to be a bit afraid. I don't know what they're doing. A Cromwell cannot take on a King Tiger. And that Cromwell is just going to go down. Boom, there he goes. So quite unfortunate right now. So as I said, like lots of tanks for the Brits and the Americans right now. The Shermans, we have Fireflies. We are losing but ground. this King Tiger is going to be a very big hassle. As you can see, we'll just look at the stats. 9 plus 3 against infantry, 9 against uh, light vehicles, 9 against tanks, 6 against buildings. So very effective against pretty much everything. Even the Sherman Firefly and, uh, and tank gun, even though they have very good penetration, they're only taking out slight amount of uh, health on the King Tiger every now and then. So they need to be very wary. Wow, here we go, just the armada of tanks. Four big tanks. Unfortunately, what I think what they're going to be doing is trying to take on this King Tiger. Take it out. This is their priority target. This has been um, highly identified for them. That this is what needs to be taken out. So all effort is being yeah, used right now to try and take it out. Little firestorm trying to take out that um, anti-tank gun for the Americans. All these tanks, Panther coming in to try and back up um, the King Tiger. As we can see, King Tiger down to a slither of health. This is looking very bad. Mind you, Axis only get one King Tiger per game. And boom, 